Okay, we got lucky, folks. And basically, I'm back in here at SLU. And the pompous dude that's on SLU talking about, they don't not, who's a professional looking at something, okay? Especially when scientific community even lets you see what's in space and then they try to pull their bull crap. So anyway, the lower left, why they're trying to give their spooge about this right now is New Zealand, I believe. Okay, now I might be wrong and I'm always very good at being very scientific that, hey, I could be wrong. Now, my theory, it's not even really a theory, it's pretty much factual that we, from the one shot of, and I've got that loading right now, I'm, I have three videos on this eclipse and I'm taping this on the fly. The first full totality at the northern part of Australia, or at least the, the closest, the first area that they started taping, we didn't get what we've seen as normally that we've been seeing rotating around the sun has been a star cluster, what I was able to show you in a few videos a while ago. Now, to the left, I believe we still have a live shot, and actually we might even have two different camera shots. And see, this should be live, and they might both be, this one to the, to the right of it going away. And this is the eclipse going on in right there on the screen right now is New Zealand coming into full coverage of the moon over the, basically they call it full totality or just basically totality. And we'll get totality here in a minute from New Zealand. And basically the moon is moving away from the other shot from Australia, somewhere mid Pacific Ocean somewhere. And they're given their spew of showing you. Now, we did. It sure the hell seemed, because we're going to be able to disprove if there was no CME. And we'll actually be able to prove, because if we can disprove that there was no CME at the time of my recording... And basically, it doesn't take too long. We're going to have like an hour, what a 45-minute gap of time. Or if there was no CME, then we did see the star cluster that we've been seeing moving around, rotating around the sun down at Nehemiah Station. So, and basically at Nehemiah Station down at the South Pole, we've been seeing it in front and in between the sun when it's coming up down there. Now, is it just at the South Pole? You can go out with welding goggles during the day and look at the sun and see what we have out there. It's not illegal to look at the sun with welding goggles, okay? Now, basically you have uh, the, it doesn't even really matter, but we have in sequence, I gave you the first shot of being able to show you the, uh, Eclipse, and then I have the other one that's uploading now that basically will probably show you the, and it, to the lower right right now you can see what what uh, we saw. So we're going to be trying to find out if the sun was putting a flare off or if that right there. Was that right there that we're seeing right now, was that a star cluster that rotates around the sun? So down to the left-hand side, I can't help it. We're doing a live feed here. And uh, so basically, I'm not doing any advertising here. I'm stuck with what they're advertising. So as you can see in the lower left, we're getting close to totality in New Zealand somewhere. And hopefully they'll show that. 
Now, a few minutes ago, they were showing what I believe to be the star cluster, which is basically, we can actually factually present that, that it's a cluster of stars around possibly planets or minor planet, which we don't know for sure if it's a minor planet because we don't know the distance of that object yet. But I was able to prove it from the stuff from Nehemiah, and you can go back and see that. And I put that down as uh, irrefutable. So, and it is pretty much irrefutable and basically irrefutable as you've seen with this footage. And if you go to the video, the second eclipse one, I put eclipse 2012. The first one I had 2012 eclipse. I started showing you what we were seeing in Australia to begin with. And you could see the spots on the sun and then they had cloud problems. Well, they would love to load that. So it's really beginning to be very, very actual, factual that they're not going to be able to cover up the fact that there is something by the sun in between us and Earth that has a small star clustered with it. Because it has a bright, either that or they're going to have to uh, disprove that there's light on some planet. <laughs> Between that, I mean, okay, that means that there's uh, some kind of intelligent life form out there. No, I believe it to be star cluster, a cluster that looks like about five stars, one star for darn sure that we were able to zoom in on. And as you could see with the eclipse today, in this footage on this one, and also in the footage before, you could see that there was a star cluster or a star because we're pretty much probably going to be able to disprove that there was a uh, CME. So So there will be some ships in the Pacific that will be able to see the uh, shadow and the basically the annual of the uh, and it sure looked like to me if you watch the the uh, what I named Eclipse 2012 that was the second video uh, it sure almost looked to me that we basically pretty much got a total shadow and a total eclipse.
So to the lower left, we've got an eclipse at New Zealand. It's going to be interesting to see what we can get there. Matter of fact, I'm going to stop the tape for a little bit here to see if I can get anything interesting. We can uh, save time on this. Hang on. So since they're shooting pretty good right now, I'm going to show you what we're seeing here. And as you can see, the umbra is lower right, as you can see the shadow of the moon at that angle in New Zealand. So I'll point with my pointer and that's the umbra. The pu, it's, I, I might, it starts with a P, penumbra. The, the, that umbra will be following. So, let me get out of here and save a little bit of time, and I'll pop back in in a little bit. This is the sun. It's not the moon, folks, because this is the moon here doing the eclipse here in New Zealand. Let me save some minutes, and here we go again, and I'm sorry about it. I could record these on the fly, but it's going to be pretty good because basically I've got two other recordings already uploaded. As long as I leave my cursor alone and shut up here, but I'm going to get back out and save some more time. In the center, we have the eclipse leaving Australia. Okay, so basically that's the sun coming back out from behind the moon in Australia. The left hand side is New Zealand and that's what you got in the main screen above is New Zealand. Okay. So let me save some time and come back into this. If I see something good, I will pop back in. Save some time to get to total eclipse here. And basically New Zealand is where you're seeing this position from. And that is the moon in front of the sun. This is filtered and this is the sun here. And I'll come back in and we'll try to catch the whole end. Now we're back at New Zealand and I think when they changed cameras, it might have been because of cloud cover. And I'll pop back in here. And as you can see in Australia, I'll leave the cursor down here and get ready to pop out to save some video time. As you can see in Australia that it's just getting ready to get over with down there in Australia in the middle. That's the middle shot. And then I'll come back saving some time. No matter what, folks, I'm back here at the ISS station and it they put a nice anchor in the water and stopped that satellite. Either that or it did a full rotation of the earth that fast. As I'm still at recording the let me go ahead and go there. So whether they plan the fuel or not, or the electrical energy, they pretty much stopped. The ISS can put brakes on and stop, folks, because basically we caught it watching this eclipse. Because I'm at New Zealand right now. So we found the space shuttle can stop. <coughs> and I kind of figured that much. They just uh, basically use their retro rockets. And, or, and they're basically probably electrically powered, possibly. And they pulled back. And I'm just going to let it go to full screen here. Hopefully that deal on the bottom will go away. And I'll get the full eclipse at the end. Otherwise, I'll make another recording and get the whole. And actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. As much time as we got, I'm going to try to get this off and get back in here and get the whole eclipse. In New Zealand. We've already got the other two already uploaded from Australia earlier. So I'm going to see what I got for time. And the bar is not going away. And as you can see, they're talking. Normally this bar would go away when I move my cursor away. I think they're a little bit pissed off the idea that I figured out that the ISS station can stop. So it did and it is and it's watching the eclipse down there in that area. So it's going to be interesting to watch these uh, orbit times. Watch, check these orbit times out. Now it'll be interesting to see how fast the ISS can catch back up to this schedule. And to see if they had that stop actually planned because they pretty much threw an anchor out ladies and gentlemen and slowed the satellite down the space station okay the ISS okay because actual factual it's still sitting there over the eclipse area okay so it's gonna be interesting you can observe these at nighttime is the best view and see if you can catch them catching back up to their time frame on their orbits here because no matter what there's the ISS there she sits right over Australia up high, she can see what's going on. All right. 
because you can see I'm still at the eclipse. And basically, the last little slivers went away from Australia down there. I just can't get the bar to go.